people are going to run it this week. Boom! What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I hope you can hear me in this wind. But yeah, I, I just might have to sell it. Medical reasons. Medical reasons. Right after this. see Tweety. I actually did that yesterday when I recorded this video for the first time. This is the second time this is take two because I'm a dumbass. I'll explain here in a bit but before the video starts or the main topic and all that stuff, several topics this time. Of course we got to do this episode's famous woman I'd like to date and that's going to be Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei. If you don't know who Marissa Tomei is, what planet are you living on? Oh, wait a... Uh, my cousin Vinny, I mean, just all kind of, you know, like, TV shows, uh, uh, Wild Hogs, motorcycle, you know, kind of damn movie. Uh, odd and odd, just a host of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Oh, man. Wow. I mean, what could I, great actress, just beautiful all around. Yes, I know she lives in New York City or somewhere along there. Uh, yeah, well, not everybody's perfect. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, Mar 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 Marissa, Mar oh my God, Marissa, <laughs> Marissa Tomei, if you were to go out with me, first, probably take you to the range. I know how much you would enjoy that. And range is always fun. Playing with pew pews is fun. Second, I try to convince you to go to Forgotten Angel Camp Out. That's always going to be the deal with, with the with these famous women who you know that I want to date is the range, especially if you've never been to a range, and the camp out. So, if you'd like to see Marissa Tomei at the camp out for a video of me with these one of these famous women you know at the range y'all need to get out on the ball because if you know anybody that knows anybody that could possibly get a hold of somebody that knows anybody that knows someone that might know Marissa Tomei tell her I'm available give me a call all right so on to the next subject. Y'all know what I gotta do. I gotta tell you about Forgotten Angel down in the show more part of the description. There is a link to a raffle. There is a link to Forgotten Angel's Facebook page, their website. There's links to Shade Tree Surgeons, Shade Lisi and Spites Corners channels. I'll explain that in a second. Please consider purchasing a raffle ticket. It helps end the foster care abuse stuff that's going on. They're, they're looking, matter of fact, they're in Oregon this week looking to uh, start up a second Forgotten Angels. Uh, and that doesn't help happen, I mean, without your help. So consider that. Plus you can win a house. The grand prize is a house or $250,000 and every two weeks they give away a motorcycle. Check out Shay Tree Service, Shay Lacey, or, or Spice Corners channels for this two weeks uh, motorcycle giveaway and uh, get you some raffle tickets. You just never know. You just never know. Plus, you're helping. I mean, and if you can't get a raffle ticket, uh, share the link. Share it on your social media pages. It will help and it's greatly appreciated. So, next is I have a Patreon. Y'all that don't know, I am disabled. I do this on a very small income. And it's getting to the point where I don't make money on doing this. I actually lose money. And I'm willing to do that, but it sure be <laughs> easier on the pocket uh, to have a little help. And there is a few people out there that are on my Patreon. But if you would consider joining my Patreon, uh, it only costs a dollar a month. That's it for as low as a dollar a month. 
you can join my Patreon. There's three levels. There's pistol, there's rifle, and bazooka. Please consider joining my Patreon. What was that? There was something in the road that looked, uh, you know what, I'm going to go back and look at that. That looked like a, a piece of electronical kind of stuff. It could be just trash. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and go back and look at that. It's a piece of somebody's duct tape. It sure did look like something. All right. After investigating a piece of duct tape, we'll continue. So, on to today's main subject. I had a primary doctor appointment. Uh, not my oncologist. By the way, today's treatment day. But I gotta get this video done before treatment. Anyway, so I uh, went to my primary doctor appointment, just my regular kind of diabetes checkup and all that stuff, and uh, I was telling him that I, I forgot to mention many times that I have, uh, I've been having tendonitis ringing in my ears. It's been going on for a little while. I keep forgetting to, to mention it. I get in there and it's not ringing and I forget about it or something, you know, that kind of thing. Oh man, that damn shoulder, man, I swear. Uh, so, I go in there and I'm telling him about the tendonitis. And, uh, huh. private road. Oh my god, my brain totally split. I was telling him about the tendonitis. And it kind of it kind of doesn't suck, but it kind of sucks to have a doctor that watches your YouTube channel. <laughs> so he says, well, he says, uh, when you play with the things that go boom, you wear hearing protection. I said, of course I do. Yes, I do. Is that a deer? That is a deer out there. I've seen it. Well, there's quite a few deers. Holy cow, some big deer. Did y'all see that? Oh man, I gotta turn around again. That looks like a private driveway though. Do, 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 do. Like I said, I ain't got no particular to be today, except for my treatment, which is here in a little while, so I got time. So, he said, uh, like I was saying, he said, do you wear protection when you're playing with things that go boom? I said, of course I do. He says, all right. He said, what about when you're on that loud motorcycle of yours? He said, you got an extremely loud motorcycle. He said, do you wear hearing protection when you uh, are riding? I said, you know what, I don't. He said, uh, was this it? Yep, that's the driveway. Dang, and look at them all, look at they're running. Wow, three or four of them. I don't know if y'all can see them. So anyways, he says, uh, I'm going to turn around again. It's a turnaround kind of day. This is a small road. I would practice my, uh, you know, tight maneuvering, but it leans. You can't probably tell that much on, uh, on the camera. It's got several ruts, and I don't feel like falling. Anyway, there we go again. He said, yeah, he said, I would, uh, he said, the damage is probably already done. There's probably much, not much you could do about the damage since I do have ringing in my ears. He said, but, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you wore earplugs while you're riding. Ah, I said, all right, so now I have earplugs when I'm riding. So if you're out and about and you come up and go, hey, Matt, and I look at you like you lost your mind, it's because I can't hear you. I have earplugs. <laughs> the other issue is why I might be selling the beast. I'm still having, now if y'all remember the uh, uh, Navasota video, the Chuck Norris video, I uh, hurt my back, ended up in the ER, 
L4 and L5 in my back uh, disc are herniated. Uh, likely, you know, send everything into spasms, all that stuff. You all remember that one if you watched that one. If you haven't watched that one, go back and watch it. Uh, so my back still bothers me though. It don't feel good some of the time. I, you know, I can function and stuff, but it don't feel great. It does not feel great. Hmm. I don't think I've ever gone this way. We'll go this way. So, uh, He said, because you got a herniated, two herniated discs. They don't exactly, they will go back in on their own and stuff, but they, you know, uh, they're still going to probably bother me. He said, uh, it probably don't help that you ride a motorcycle folded up like a taco. He said, uh, it probably better if you rode a motorcycle that was more where you more sat up straight kind of thing and I'm like uh, uh, blame it on my motorcycle that's it that's how you do it <laughs> so uh yeah we did uh you can almost guarantee as much as I ride and I ride a lot guys if, if I don't have to carry something that I just can't carry or have to pick up something that I just can't carry on the bike, I'm usually on the bike. So, I'm going to turn around. I don't want to go this way. I know where this goes. I have been down here before. And I, don't want to I just don't want to go down there. So, uh, he said, yeah, he said, the, the seat on that is that, you know, any kind of custom seat or anything? It's not. I believe it's the original seat and all that stuff. He says, it's probably not doing your back any good whatsoever to be riding that motorcycle. I'm like, ugh. He said, yeah, okay. So he said, you consider getting another motorcycle or whatever. So, like I said, to go along with everything else, y'all know I'm disabled. I don't get much of a disability check each month. The original plans was to, uh, when I bought this, was to pay it off. These are nice houses. And, uh, Get another bike and then customize this. Uh, how cool would it be to customize this? But uh, the realization is I paid this off many years ago, and uh, you know, cancer's expensive, guys. Uh, there's just there's just no way, no way I could possibly uh, customize this bike not in the near future. Not unless I win the lottery, uh, kind of thing. And there's no way, without selling this bike or at least trading it in, that I can get a different bike. Yes, I would like this bike. You know, back and you know, it. I love this bike. I do. I really do. It's a fun bike. It goes really fast in a straight line. <laughs> uh, it is just. And I, you know, I do love this bike, and I wish I could keep it, but I, I don't see it happening. And plus, I, could, I ain't getting any younger. After discussing it with my, uh, my friend Desiree, Wind Road Therapy on YouTube, uh, I may have to sell it, guys. There just there ain't no other way I can get a different bike. I would like to have a bike where I'm, I'm sitting up, and my help is shoulder too, sitting up more upright kind of thing. And uh, maybe some bags on it and stuff, because I can go on some trips. I can go out for a day and come back. Hey, motorcycles. 
I can go out for a day, come back, maybe pack a, you know, a change of clothes someplace I can stop and got a hotel or something. I'd like to, you know, this here, I, I could do it on this bike, but this bike is not comfortable riding long distance at all. Not at, or not for me it ain't. And uh, I could put a backpack on, you know. I could put bags on this if I wanted to. But uh, like I said, this this uh, this bike is not that comfortable. Uh, you see the uh, escort of the kids to the uh, the cap campground. That that's about the longest I've ridden this thing, and it I was hurt. I was hurting bad. Not only you know, the shoulder, but I had swamp ass. I had back was killing me uh, on and on and on and on. Just all kind of problems with the. Uh, man, this is nice. This is nice. All kind of issues. It just, and I was tired. I mean, I was wore out. And it, I wore out because this bike is hard to ride long distance. And uh, I know uh, Baby Badger, of the, you know, the Badgers, their daughter rides a, a V-Ride long distance. But I'm not a kid. <laughs> I ain't getting any younger. So uh, <coughs> I'm thinking it's time for the beast to go. What do y'all think? Should I sell the beast? Should I trade in the beast? Hey, if you would like to buy the beast, leave in the comments an offer. It's a 2009 Night Rod Special. It has 19,059 miles on it right now. It'll have more before I sell it, trust me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I ain't getting any younger. Right at the moment, I don't see possible any possible way for me to get another bike other than to trade this in or sell it. And uh, for for the, for, uh, for my back, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell it. So not 100% sure just yet, but uh, it sure is leaning that way. All right, I think that's gonna be it, guys. <clears throat> I said if you would check out uh, in the show more part of the description the link to Forgotten Angels and their raffle and everything that's going on with that it's a, oh you know what I forgot to tell you about that they have started something called harness what harness is if you go to the Forgotten Angels website you can sign up for this it takes the, the uh, purchases that you make on your debit card and rounds them up and the rounded up amount goes to forgotten angels you can set a max limit on how much goes and everything else and if you sign up for harness with forgotten angels you are automatically entered in all the motorcycle giveaways you are automatically entered in the grand prize giveaway contest thing the house or two hundred fifty thousand how cool is that? Go over there, check it out. Set a limit on your uh, how much will come out of your uh, your account, and each purchase that you make on your debit card will round up, and that rounded up part will go to Forgotten Angels. And you automatically every two weeks, uh, every other Friday, it's live on the Shade Tree Surgeon Channel. They give away whatever motorcycles up for grabs. Man, check it out. It's worth it. Check out my Patreon. Consider joining my Patreon. Help me out. Oh man, what a day. It's actually been it's only in the 90s. Yeah, check out my Patreon. If you can, please uh, join that. You will get your name listed right here at the end. And that's the end, man. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. That helps uh, give the middle finger to YouTube's algorithm because YouTube sissies don't like motorcycles. And they definitely don't like pew pews. Because you gotta say pew pew. Or it hurt their feelings. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, 
would appreciate it. It don't cost you a dime, completely free to hit that subscribe button. Then you click on notify all of the little bell and it'll notify you whenever I put a video. Y'all know how it goes. If you have served or if you're currently serving in a military, if you're a firefighter, EMS, first responder, especially law enforcement, if you're in the healthcare industry, putting yourself at risk, if you're a truck driver, delivering the goods so we could have a good life, if you both stand up for your rights, you are awesome. We appreciate everything you do for us and the sacrifices you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom!